Voice of Indonesia EOR Well listeners, February 21st is commemorated as the International Mother Language Day And today here with us, Professor Aminuddin Ajiz He is the head of the Indonesian Development and Cultivation Agency of the Indonesian Language who is now in Paris to speak out about the Indonesian language or Indonesian regional languages uh, language in uh, the United Nations um, meetings. Uh, Professor Aminuddin Ajis, as we know that the commemoration of International Mother Language Day this year, 2023, uh, brings mm-hmm. the theme multilingual education, a must of I mean, a must for changing education. So, what mm-hmm. does it mean? I mean, this theme for Indonesia. Well, uh, thank you, Papane, uh, and uh, good morning, listeners. I'm in Paris, as said by Papane just now. Uh, there are two reasons why I am here. One is uh, to uh, speak uh, before the uh, forum in held by UNESCO in. Uh, to commemorate, to celebrate the International Mother Language Day uh, 2023. And the other one is to uh, uh, kind of discussion with colleagues from other countries uh, to promote Indonesian language as the, uh, one of the uh, official languages uh, in the General Conference. Well, uh, back to your question. Uh, if we... Uh, try to uh, see the uh, context in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia has uh, 718 languages, local languages, and this leads to, uh, uh, without any saying, this leads to multilingual education. Multilingual education means that we can provide uh, or we can uh, yeah, provide the opportunities for learners to learn more than one languages, and then they can cope with the subject matters uh, they learn at schools or outside schools by using the languages. And uh, this year's theme, uh, multilingual education to promote uh, learning, is meant to uh, uh, promote more functions of the local languages because uh, according to the research conducted either in UNESCO uh, office or in other countries, it always shows that uh, children or learners, especially in the younger age, in the early levels of education, will learn better if they first use their local languages or their mother languages. And uh, after a few years, let's say, after three years of education, from year one, two, and three, they can uh, begin learning uh, subject matters by using, let's say, national or international languages. And that's why uh, this uh, theme is very uh, important for Indonesia because this is very relevant to Indonesian context. Okay, uh, Professor Aminuddin Ajiz, as you mentioned before that, there were yes. 718 local languages Correct. which spread Correct. throughout our country, the archipelago yes. Indonesia. Mm-hmm. 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 My question is, how is the condition of those 718 local languages today uh, since mm-hmm. uh, we believe, and I have some experience while I visited some areas in Indonesia, mm-hmm. um, there are some areas or uh, regions which uh, people do not use their mother tongue, their mm-hmm. mother language anymore while they are mm-hmm. communicate daily. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this is a very fundamental question, <laughs> and, and this is not always easy to to answer, Papane. Uh, but let me uh, describe the situation. This is a, uh, a global uh, phenomenon that all le- local languages uh, experience problem. 
and some are already uh, uh, not only endangered or but uh, actually they already extinct. Uh, even in Indonesia, in 2019, uh, the Agency of Language Development and Cultivation, uh, the one that I am uh, uh, heading now, uh, has <clears throat> uh, declared that 11 local languages are already extinct. Uh, why I said this? Because no more native speakers to the languages. Yeah. And almost all local languages uh, globally ex are experiencing <clears throat> this kind of <clears throat> endangerment, uh, uh, eroding, and some of them uh, are going toward the status of being unsafe, meaning that uh, the number of speakers of the languages uh, from time to time uh, reduce uh, constantly. And this is also experienced by Indonesia with 718 languages. You can imagine this is not easy to, to stop. Yeah? And we cannot stop the uh, extinction. But what we do in, in uh, the ministry uh, through the uh, language agency is to slow down the uh, erosion, uh, the attrition of uh, uh, local languages by the speakers. That's what what uh, we can find. It is a local, uh, not only a local phenomena or national phenomena in Indonesia, but it is a global phenomena. UNESCO, UNESCO has uh, declared that 200 uh, local languages already extinct in the last uh, 30 years. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is the reality that we cannot deny, yeah. uh, Professor Amin Ajis. Right. As right. you mentioned before that, um, someone will learn better uh, while they are learning their mother tongues or their uh, local languages. And the more they can learn, the more they, they can speak mm. uh, languages, the the better they will in learning and this is the yes. in the, uh, from the beginning maybe from just say mm. six years or seven years mm. if we try to bring this to the theme of the international um uh mother language uh, celebration theme for this year mm. multilingual mm. Mm. education a must for changing education now so how mm. do you translate this theme to the reality mm -hmm. or to the condition that we are facing now here in the, uh, in, in Indonesia? Well, uh, this is a policy question uh, which we are already trying to implement in the country. Uh, we understand that uh, a national curriculum does not uh, uh, put this subject as an obligatory subject, yes. but the curriculum has accommodated uh, the teaching of local languages as a kind of content, uh, content local content curriculum. However, unfortunately, not all uh, local governments uh, adopt this as the policy. Uh, not uh, many uh, local governments implement this policy and then they use uh, a local language as the uh, local content. However, this is not uh, making us uh, frustrated. No, not at all. What we do is reintroduce the uh, main uh, uh, role, the significance of learning a local language, a mother tongue, uh, by uh, doing the revitalization. We introduce this into the curriculum uh, and uh, by the decree from the government, from the ministry, that uh, local local language can be taught and can be used as the medium of instruction in all school levels, yeah? uh, particularly in the early uh, level of education, as I mentioned before, uh, from year one to year three, there is a kind of enthusiasm among speakers of local languages and also from the local language teachers around the, uh, the country in Indonesia. And this also uh, has been welcomed by the community at large. And 
for us, this is something that that is uh, very promising. And we introduced the new policy. There is a reform in the learning of uh, local languages by uh, uh, saying that you do not need to to be worried about learning your local language because because local language learning is something that is interesting that will make you happy and it's a kind of fun. Uh, in the new reform, we included uh, seven uh, new materials yeah, uh, as a kind of uh, uh, options for learners to to learn. Uh, let's say uh, we introduce the uh, group uh, of students if they want to learn. Let's say if they, are, I mean, if they are interested in learning how to write short stories in local language, and then we can form, we can group. Uh, the students into uh, small groups and they only learn how to write short stories. If they are interested in reading uh, uh, the poetry, uh, uh, reading poems, then they can form a group of students who are only interested in learning that materials. And there is one more uh, material which is uh, which was not introduced before. What is that? Stand-up comedy using the uh, local language. And this has attracted so many students to become a comics. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I think this is a kind of a, a kind of reform in the teaching of uh, local language. Yeah? So we provide uh, as many uh, materials as possible, the materials that will attract the students so that the students are interested in learning the local languages. So that is the, the kind of new reform. Yeah, uh, that's a brilliant idea, Professor Aminuddin Ajiz. Thank you. But Thank you. Um, we cannot uh, avoid the, mm -hmm. uh, what call it, the, 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 the development of foreign language and the, mm -hmm. the, the, the wish, the desire of our students to learn mm -hmm. uh, foreign languages. In your assessment, in your evaluation, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Ajiz, how much this, I mean, the, the influence, the, the effect of foreign languages um, mm -hmm. to our, I mean, local languages, the use of our local languages? Mm -hmm. Well, as you said, Papane, uh, the influence of uh, global languages uh, or foreign languages it can be english can be uh, korean can be french can be arabic or turkish even right any language any any uh, foreign languages can influence the development and the use of uh, national and local languages yeah and we cannot avoid this we cannot stop the influence what we do is that we can integrate right we can integrate the uh uh the benefits of learning local languages and uh, uh, the uh, learning of uh, uh, foreign languages, because what we what we think, what we uh, are aware of, is that uh, we are living in a global uh, community. Then learning a foreign language is an opportunity to communicate with uh, global uh, societies. And we encourage uh, people, we encourage students to learn local, uh, local languages, to learn, to improve their ability in learning uh, or using uh, national language. And we also encourage to master uh, foreign languages. So this is the kind of approach that we have to adopt because we cannot avoid this, right? This is, this is something that, that we are living in this kind of situation and without which we cannot live, right? So uh, technology is another influence, yeah? Therefore, in our agency at the moment, we develop new materials for learning local languages through the use of technology that is suitable for uh, uh, young learners, right? Because young learners are very uh, 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 capable, very competent in using the gadgets, right? The, and then we provide the materials through this, right? Okay, that's a good idea. 
as you mentioned Thank again, you. Professor Aminu Dinaji, at that mm. today we are living in the global village. Correct. And borderless. Yes. It means that willy nilly, we want it or we do not want it. The, mm -hmm. the, the languages, the culture, the technology, mm. everything could come and in from our country. Yes. Now, my next question is, if yes, some international languages are already here in mm -hmm. Indonesia. So what is the effort of the Indonesian language development and cultivation agency that you mm -hmm. lead now to bring mm -hmm. this language, the Indonesian language, which has been uh, used by more than 275 millions around the world mm. to international fora. You mean the Indonesian language to bring yes. this uh, yeah. into the uh, international global, fora uh, community, right? Yes. This is the kind of uh, diplomatic uh, approach that we have been doing in our uh, agency, not only uh, in our agency actually, but the we work together with Indonesian uh, uh, representatives uh, around uh, the globe, right? First, we introduce, uh, we have introduced the teaching of Indonesian as a foreign language, right? And at the moment, Indonesian language is taught in 52 countries. And this is, a, I think, this is the good news, right? Because the interest of Foreigners to learn Indonesian language uh, increases from time to time. At the moment, yeah, in 52 countries, we have more than 152,000 students learning Indonesian. There, this and this uh, increases dramatically during the uh, COVID-19, right? Probably because people do not. Uh, uh, go around and then they stay at home and then they use their time to learn new uh, new language and Indonesian is one of them. So we already uh, uh, offer this for a couple of years. This one, number two, yeah, we introduce uh, and we uh, talk to uh, uh, organizations, international organizations, right? whether. Uh, uh, they can support our our effort to elevate uh, elevate the function of Indonesian in the international fora uh, through Asian uh, organization and uh, at the moment, as I mentioned in the uh, opening, uh, that I am here in Paris uh, to uh, discuss the possibility because Indonesia. Uh, through the Ministry of Education, Culture, Research and Technology, and uh, through the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, have agreed to submit a kind of proposal to UNESCO that Indonesian language is uh, uh, de uh, declared as one of the official language of the General Conference in UNESCO. And I think this is a good start for us. Yeah, we can hope that uh, uh, this step is uh, successful, and this will be decided in whether or not this uh, can be uh, uh, in included into the agenda of the discussion in the general conference uh, in May, and this will be decided in November. That's the the next step, right? But so we have to do some lobbies. But I want to make sure Professor Ajis mm. uh, yeah. has our proposal for this been received by the mm. UNESCO? Here I am in Paris is in the effort to negotiate the submission of this. And very shortly we will submit this. Yeah, We will discuss this today Yeah, uh, in the afternoon uh, today. And then uh, we are already... Uh, uh, we have the, uh, the the documents that we want to submit, yeah, with uh, uh, to UNESCO, yeah. yeah. So uh, pray for us. <laughs> yeah, we pray for for, for the team <laughs> in Paris. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 
there is always a possibility there is always chance professor rajas right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah inshallah yeah. it will be uh, uh what color zip by the unesco um, i mean thank you okay uh, before we close this um conversation professor rajas i would like you to mm -hmm. send your message during this um international mother language day especially for our listeners in Indonesia and our listeners around the world, please. Right. Thank you, Bapane. Uh, now, what I want to say uh, as the uh, final remark is that local language is a kind of asset, right? And this asset is very inv invaluable for us because we uh, have been uh, brought up in local languages and uh, our characters has been have been shaped by the local languages in our uh, uh, communication, in our interaction with other members of the uh, uh, societies. And we also regard that local language is a kind of identity of uh, our ethnic groups, right? In our, as also our nations, yeah? This is our identity, and we do not want to lose uh, that, this identity because if we lose this kind of identity, then we lose our nation, we lose our characters. And uh, that's why we have to strive, we have to work hard to uh, 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 safeguard, right? To revitalize uh, uh, our uh, local languages because this is a kind of asset. Do not think that this is a kind of burden for us to learn, but this is something that we can uh, use and regard this as an asset. Yeah. And how we how we utilize this asset, it depends on our willingness, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Professor Amin Udin Ajiz. May Allah bless your efforts, the team's effort Amin. from Indonesia to bring the Indonesian language to the international fora, especially uh, as one of the official languages in the United, uh, United Nations. If yes, it will right. be the seventh, the seven official languages in the United Nations, uh, I think, uh, uh, Professor. Yeah, in, in the UNESCO, as the general conference. Uh, it, yeah, UNESCO. Uh, in UNESCO. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Okay, thank you. Thank Good you, luck. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you, Amin. Well, listeners, that was my conversation with Professor Aminuddin Ajis, the head of the Indonesian Language Development and Cultivation Agency, who is in Paris at this time to bring Indonesian proposal, to submit the Indonesian proposal to make Indonesian language as one of the official languages in UNESCO. We pray, the Indonesian people pray, let's pray for their efforts, the team's efforts, mm -hmm to so the Allah, the God, the Almighty, bless their efforts uh, for this. Voice of Indonesia.